Hello everyone, welcome back. This time we are gonna create the most commonly used mechanics, the masking or sometimes also known as x-ray effect. The masking is not just limited to circles, but you can use it in any shape you want. And in the mask, you can see only the closed box is affected. The open box which is below it is not affected at all. So to create this, you first of all need three images. One closed box, one open box and one image for the mask. I'm using a circle shape, but you can use any image you want. Also, you will find the images and the entire project in the description. So first of all, create an empty scene and select the color rec node as a root. This will be our background. Then choose whatever color you want. Also, make sure that its anchor is set to full rec so that it covers the entire area. Next, I will also add one control node and set its anchor to center. Then add all the three images that we have. It will be added to the scene as a sprite node. Now here comes the important part. Under the control node, add one back buffer copy node. Then in the copy mode, set it to viewport. Now you want to place the mask and the closed box under this buffer copy and make sure to place the open box above the buffer copy. The reason for that, the buffer copy can capture whatever is drawn below it according to the Z index. So as you can see, the open box is not visible on the screen because it is below the closed box. But since buffer copy is in between these two, it can see the open box. And we can access it using code. So select your mask, then in the material, create a new shader material and then click on it to open the shader editor. Now to assess the image captured by the buffer copy, we will have to use the screen texture. Now if it was Godot 3, then we could have used screen texture directly. But in Godot 4, this variable is removed. That's why we have to do one extra step. So first of all, we will create a variable of type sampler 2D, then followed by a semicolon type hint screen texture. Now inside the fragment function, we set the color which decide what you want to show equals to the texture of whatever is captured by the buffer copy. And to get that, we will use screen texture and screen UV. And just with that, you can see our mask is working. Now all you need to do is fix the shape of it. For that, we will set the alpha value of the color equal to the alpha value of our mask sprite, which we can get using the texture and UV. And that's it. We got the shape of the mask. Now this mask will show whatever is captured by the buffer copy. So if I bring it here, the mask will also show the background and that's why you can't tell where it is. So to solve this, we will add a little bit of tint to the mask. And now our mask has a yellowish color. And that's all you need to do. You can now attach a script to the root node. And here I have first created a reference of the mask. Then inside the process function, I'm setting the mask position equal to our cursor's position. And that's it. You can now just play the game and enjoy. So that's how you can create a simple masking effect in Godot. If you like this type of video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Godot related content. Also check out this video where I have talked about some easy shaders use cases that you must know and will improve your game a lot. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.